And then she said, those are weird looking balls. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hi. Welcome. Hey, how you doing? To another episode of The Vlogcast. Gertlish Gaming, that's us. This is, Sean. this is part one, which is the uh, stage one. Stage one. I almost forgot what it was called then. So uh, once again, we're going to release it in three videos. If you don't like it this way, please comment because we need to know. Uh, if anybody is watching this, and you prefer it split into three, let us know that's what you want. If you prefer it as one long video, let us know. As you know, we've changed things up a little bit. We're now dropping, when we do a vlog, we haven't done it for a while to be fair. When we do a vlog, we drop, we drop one on the Monday, on the Wednesday, or the Friday, or either way, we alternate. So, whereas we used to do one big chunk, we're now dropping it in little three episodes for stage one, which is what we're doing now, the main quest, and then a free for all. So I suppose from the perspective of the podcast, this is a welcome back because if you are only a podcast listener as opposed to a YouTube watcher, you've not heard from us in a while. Because the podcast is like your bastard, your bastard kid. I, I don't mind it, I like it. No, it's but your bastard kid because I like it. Yeah, you so, like so it. So I'm John Snow. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's John Snow. I'm Ned Stark. I'm Caitlin, aren't I? You're Caitlin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Fuck uh, you, little finger. Okay. Kind of, yeah, prick. But, um, right, stage one. If I dust off my vlog knowledge, this is where we talk about what, we, what we're playing. This is where we talk about what we've been playing. All right, what have you been playing, pal? What have I been playing? Um, I'm going to sit back a bit. You okay? Yeah, can I be really cut and stop it there? Why? Because I want to do something. What do you want to do? Oh, I'm probably being picky. I'm worried that the audio will be fine as a vlogcast, but I'm worried it won't be good enough for a podcast. You and that bloody podcast. So I don't know whether I just record it separately on the thing, and then I've, then I've got the audio then to use. Do you know what I mean? Probably fine for the podcast, really. Pretty good. Mm. Oh, kind of now. You're going to get annoyed with me, aren't you? No. You're already there. So, what have you been playing, Sean? I make this joke all the time. I mean, you know, I've stopped laughing at it now, but I still play games that are old. Like three, four, five years old. So I'm playing Skyrim Remaster. How how old is the remaster? Does oh, it count as an old game? Remaster came out last year. Uh, so it's still technically old. But... Is it called this year? No, it's last year. So you're 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 you're, <laughs> you're playing an old game. Yeah. Which is the remaster of an old game. Yeah. It's got new DLC. Not new DLC. Paradox. It's a problem. It's good though. It really looks really pretty in the PlayStation 4. And I've played Skyrim twice and I've never completed it. I've just done it twice and put like a hundred hours into each playthrough. But I've probably never really scratched the surface. I'm doing it proper this time and I'm ploughing the hours into it. My wife enjoys watching me and I'm enjoying it. It's pretty. And then when my wife's not around, I'm playing again. I'm sorry if I haven't played these classics before, but I've been busy, yo. So I'm I'm playing Uncharted 2 as well, remaster on the PlayStation 4. Loving the remasters at the moment. Yeah, remaster, remaster everything. And new stuff's crap, remaster the old. But Uncharted 2 is bloody amazing. Why is it? I, I never had a PS3, probably, that's why. Why is it, why has it been on my life? It's so good. The Uncharted games are brilliant. Because you never, you obviously played the first one on the remaster, yeah. but you, before that, you'd never played never them. Never played them, so I got the PlayStation, like, and that became free with it. That, that. Did you ever play um, Last of Us? Nope. God, Sean, you've got to play that. That's a remaster as well. Hey, remaster <laughs> me up. But that are the two games I'm playing. And in my emulating days, I'm playing, still playing Donkey Kong, and that is it really. I'm not playing much else. Well, you've gone through that pretty quickly, haven't you? Yeah, I'm trying to think what else I've played. I mean, I completed Fallout, so I was playing Fallout. I've actually done the story in Fallout 4 and I'm completed so, it. Have you? Yeah. So you've been down below? Yeah. Cause we, yeah, see, that's good because we haven't talked about it. I hated before. it below. It's so. It's, it's so clean. It's clean, it looks good. It looks, how, so clean. It looks how I imagined it would look, but it's the walking distance. Just yeah, walking it's a bit like on that. the atrium was just, it was annoying. I really wanted the story to end. And I, I actually went and discovered every place in Skyrim. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that. Skyrim or Fallout or. Oh Jesus, Fallout, I'm going mental. Yeah, it's got the same game pretty much in it. But. No, no! no it's a different story, but it's the same engine. Isn't no! It? Yeah, same engine. no! Yes. So anyway, so that I was going to tell a story once upon a time about Fallout 4, and if anybody does watch this regularly, they might remember or recall. And you're like, me again. That I. What's that? I <laughs> I stopped 
Uh, tell us a story because I didn't want yeah, you to. No, no, no! I didn't annoy you, but I didn't want. I, I, I didn't want to go any further because I didn't want to ruin it for you. Because I had to find Sean. Because obviously, when you first get down there, there's a child behind yeah. the glass. Um, spoiler: there's a child behind the glass, which isn't Sean. It's a. It's was it an android? I can't remember what it was. It's like a synth, whatever. Maybe. Yeah, it's a synth. Yeah. So, so basically, what I did was I went down there. Sean, behind the glass. Sean, I'll get you out. And then the overseer came out started trying to explain to me what had happened. And I was like, fuck you, pal. You've imprisoned my boy. And I shot him in the face and killed him. That wasn't the overseer, that was Sean. I know. <laughs> but wait, that's the thing. But I, I shot him and I was like, yeah, awesome. But then when you hover the reticle over, over the dead body, it says Sean. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> what did I do to the game? That was nothing. I had to reload it. But what would have happened? With, would, it let, would all the missions have failed? I guess so, yeah. It gives you three missions in yeah. the game. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, maybe I should have... In the story, spoiler alert, I, I let him die. I think... I. What was the options? You go with them, or you go against them. I went against them, but at the Institute. But he lies there in the bed to die. Yeah. But I um, I got a shotgun and shot him, blew his chart out, then Harry's has a bit dark, my wife, so I didn't know the left and die. Yeah, I, I don't think but I... Um, it is my best game. It's not as good as 4 out of 3. I think it's... I helped him. I think I became the leader, the new overseer. Ah, oh, stop that. I like power though, mate. You know, no, just, uh, mutants. Fuck the mutants. I just didn't like... I had strong form. I didn't like... I, I think Fallout 4 was a great game. I think we need another Fallout and a better one. Because it was, it was good. But the, well, this is the problem with Bethesda, isn't it? I think they have such long um, like development cycles that by the time they come out, you're a bit like, hmm, it looks a bit, it looks a bit old. old. And it did, because fair play to them, when they announced Fallout 4 and it was like, and it's coming out this year, you were like, fucking hell, that's awesome. Yeah, what? And it came out and you're like, was this supposed to come out three years ago? It looked yeah. a little bit... So, I don't know. It is a great game. Fallout 3 is still in my, in my top five best games of all time, so I'm always a Fallout fan. Yeah. Um, but it was good, so I completed that. The Witcher, I'm going to admit, I jacked it in. Uh, okay. The DLC was too big for me and confused me. But you didn't finish the main story? No, I, did the, I started finishing it and I thought I'd better do the main story. And it glitched, I got pissed off, so I just parked it. I might do it another time. Fair enough. Big tough boy. But that's me. Done. You. But Uncharted 2, I love it. Uncharted 2 was quality. Well, I've been playing a couple of other games, obviously. You know, I spent a long time, a long time trying to get uh, Mass Effect Andromeda finished. I finally got that finished. And I moved on to Prey. Prey, do tell more. Do tell more. <laughs> I will, I will. Now with Prey, I wanted to like it, okay? I started off you liking hate it. it don't I you? don't hate it. Well, I, I, you hate okay, it. Okay, this is what's happened. Last time we spoke, I, I was playing it, wasn't I? And I texted you the other day and said, I've jacked it in, I've decided to knock it on the head. So now I'll explain why. Now, the game is good in itself. It's very, it reminds me a lot of Half Life. And not, not I mean, Careful. don't get excited. Yeah, Careful. exactly, because it's not as good as Half Life. But from the perspective of, in this game, you're in a space station. Obviously, you know, Half Life was orig the original Half Life was set on a like a science um, a, facility. A facility, yes, thank you. In the uh, Black Arizona, Master. was it like in Arizona or something? Like it was that? a desert. Yeah, it yeah. went wrong. Yeah. And um, okay, remaster it. Go but on. but oh, that, no, just make the fucking third one. <laughs> remaster it. But um, no, you uh, and it, obviously you used to have the uh, uh, head crabs that used to come and jump at you. Oh, uh, the funny, like, funny face, yeah, the funny things. And. Um, this is kind of similar to that in the sense of the, the aliens that you encounter. Uh, they're, they're more like, they're almost like made of goo sort of thing, but they they scatter around like look like little spiders, not, not all is of them. Is it open really. world? Open space uh, actually, Yeah, I think it is to a degree. I mean, you can you can pretty much go where you want, but obviously there's locked doors. Do you know what I mean? Standard. So, so it is one big place. It's not like all horror. Do you have multiple is, missions? Uh, there are side missions, yeah, mm. but there is like a core mission. <laughs> And basically, you fight these aliens, and they're called mimics, and they 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 um, they can change into anything in the room. So when you walk into a room, sometimes you'll see like something move out the corner of your eye, and you'll go and look at it, and you'll be like, "Shit!" Was can that you just blast it? Oh yeah, you can go in. So some like there's been occasions where you, like again, there's sort of half life comparison. You have a wrench, you know, like as a melee weapon, and I just run into a room and just smash the fuck out of everything. I'll be yeah. smashing tables and chairs. Like, you know, it, it could be a mimic. It could be there to kill me, so I have to preempt. I'm, I'm like, I want to be proactive, not reactive. Nice. So, uh, corporate buzzwords, nice. yeah. Corporate. So, uh, I've been on the course. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> business should be reactive. Should be proactive. <laughs> Think outside the box. And all the, all the big businesses are reactive. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so all was going fine. I, I was trudging through it. I don't know how far I was, probably, let's say, I don't know, 25, 30%. Is it quick save? It. Quick save? Um, it, it is quick save. 
But the problem is, is like when you used to play in PC back in the day, and you quick save would be assigned to like I don't know F five or something like that. There is no button for that, so you have to go pause, save. Oh, yeah, that's scary, like, It's well annoying. Like I want, I want games that auto save like a lot, you know. Yeah. And this game, right? You can, to look, play. anybody who's watching or listening can judge me and say, you know, you're not a proper gamer, you don't like a challenge. But I don't like. Um, it's not that I don't like fail states full stop, but I don't like games that, like, when you get on the game and you, you sat playing it for two hours and you say, actually, what I've played is ten minutes worth of the game. Is it really hard? But I just get... I, I find it hard. What's not, killing you? The aliens. Why can you kill them? I try, mate. They batter me every single time. Mm. They, they gang up on me. Now, look, I, full disclosure, right? I, I admit that it's probably that I'm not very good at the game or I'm not doing it right. But... I'm playing on easy. I moved it to easy. I thought, well, I'll just move it to easy, get past this bit. I'm fucking dying constantly. And I looked oh, up nice. online, I went on Reddit or whatever, and it was like, oh, you need to do this, you need to stock this up. You need... I'm like, nah, I'm out. I can't fuck with all that. Do you know what I mean? Really? I'll, I'll give it a go. Give it a go, mate. You take it. I don't want it. Jeez, so uh, so. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've jacked it in. I've jacked it in. I'm going to get another game, which I'll talk about in the next uh, segment, uh, the main quest, because it leads into some talk into that. I don't want to ruin what you might be able to say, but I want. Can you touch on Overwatch, or are you going to touch on Overwatch? I I will touch on Overwatch in the next bit. No, I'll touch on Overwatch. Oh, yeah, that's all he's yeah. on Overwatch. No, so um, I like to I like to watch you. <laughs> so I might as well do that now. So apart right, from mate, that, sorry. I've been playing. Uh, I finally jumped on the Overwatch. Oh my God, can I keep you off it? I I no, you say that, but um, I it took me. I've had a game about a month. It took me a, a good few weeks. I'd probably say up until earlier this week did I really go I want to play more you know what I mean it's not that I didn't want to play more but you know what I mean like, what's it what, like is it good it's 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 good yeah it is, it's, a, it's a very good game I mean I think my problem I had with it was it's not it is very different to the traditional shooters that you play um, like uh, you know Call of Duty's and Battlefield and all that it's not that at all it's very much a character driven game where every character's got different abilities different attacks I mean, ultimately, it's to kill the enemy, but, like, you know, you've got one with ninja stars, you've got one with a massive, like, hammer. Morning. And when I first played I was like, I don't know if I like this. It's too cartoony. I don't like the fact that, like, I don't know who to pick. I was, I'm just, I get frustrated when I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just like, and then, earlier this week, I was playing on it, and I started to figure out certain things. Like, the, the key, it, I know it's, to a lot of people, this is going to be common sense, but me, I, I like instant gratification. I like to pick a game up and just run with it. Whereas this game was like, I, I didn't realise, right, what I need to do is spend some time and learn the characters, you know, because mm, I need to know. Yeah. Because what I soon learnt was, is that basically with each character you've got like your normal attack, which is normally right trigger, you've got, and, and the, the bumpers and the triggers, like some have more than others, some have three extra, some have two extra, but they do extra stuff. Not necessarily attack, some could be like throwing bombs, some could be like putting shields up, blah, blah, blah. But the bottom line is, is that you soon you you soon learn that it's about using those abilities in conjunction with each other. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So like, it might be um, I I will throw this thing down, which weakens them, and then I'll f um, uh, throw a bomb in there that then blows them all, and then if there's any left, I'll finish them with the gun. Do you know what I mean? So like, you you've got to kind of think quick and use things mm -hmm. together with each other. And like I said, when um, when 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 you get it right. There's the gratification then. Then you're like, oh mate, I I I I get it now. That felt good. Do you know what I mean? It reminds. Yeah. And that's gonna sound stupid, and you're gonna raise your eyebrows at me. But it reminds me of learning to play golf. And what I mean by that is when you first hit a golf ball, right? And you hit it straight into the trees. Right? When you hit it straight into the trees, you're like, it's the fucking worst game I've ever played in my life. Shit. What am I going? But then when you when you hit a ball off the tee, and you land it on that green, and you're like two foot from the hole, you're like. Oh, that's the one. That's that felt good, and that's what this was like. When fuck, you get it right, fuck golf. Fuck you. Ruins a good walk. Shaq Fu. Ruins Shaq Fu. Ruins a good walk. Ruins a good walk. But um, uh, but uh, yeah, it doesn't ruin really, it. That's just doesn't. How sense. many miles of land was taken up by golf courses? It found these who bought dogs. Not on? enough. Uh, but they wouldn't dogs on it. They just fucking farm cows and stuff on them. Farm cow? Why would they farm cows? They on would. It? They would. Wrong. Build houses. Would that's you, Jeremy, what do you buy a tiger in this houses. game? You might be able to conquer that. Get it on the green. So yeah, I'm not, uh, there's not much more I can say about Overwatch. To be honest, that, that's that's where I'm at the moment. I'm I'm, I'm enjoying particularly a, a game mode where it's free versus free, and but it's elimination. Oh, so it's like a like 
thingy on um, Kojiri. Yeah, yeah. So you die, and then you're um, once you once you're dead, you're out the the round, so you're to dead. speak. Do you know what I mean? But the, but the difference between this and search and destroy, which is what you were alluding to, wasn't it on Call of Duty? The games don't last as long because search and destroy, destroy could sometimes you die and it could go on for ages. Couldn't you? Like, oh, yeah. you Whereas um, with this, it's like I've not had to wait more than a few minutes before the next game started, so it's, like, it's quite it's quite quick turnaround. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm getting it now. I'm, get, I'm getting it because obviously everybody was raving about Overwatch, which is why a year after it came out, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. So yeah. thumbs up from me so far. So uh, it sounds okay. The only other thing I've been playing is, um, which I'm not going to go too much on because we've talked about the series in the, like recently, so people won't get bored. But I finally purchased the Hitman series one, uh, season one or whatever it was that came out last year, and it is good. I mean, if you don't like Hitman, you're probably not going to like it. I love the Hitman games. It's it it from a gameplay perspective, it's more of the same. It doesn't do anything different. It's the same principle. There's your target. There's multiple ways to do it. It's up to you how you do it, but What's really impressive about it is, I mean, it's, it's not the graphics. So graphics are they're good. There's nothing wrong with the graphics. The graphics are absolutely fine. But there's a particular mission, which is like this, the first main mission after you do the, the, the uh, training intro bit that you have to do. And um, it's a fact, like, you have to kill these two um, fashion moguls. It's basically like power cop couple in the fashion world, but who are actually secretly um, the heads of some secret... Um, organization you know the, the usual stuff right so um, you've got to go in there and, and kill them both off and so we go into their base basically their mansion and at the back of the mansion they've got a fashion show going on a runway and all that and I'll have to show you this to you honestly um, you might not be impressed but <laughs> the amount of NPCs in there is unbelievable like, like there's so many people in the room it's like how is this game not Crashing, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like it's so, but then then you go into the next room where the bar is, and there's hundreds of people in there as well. There are so many NPCs on this game, it is ridiculous. It's and there's so many. Like I'll admit something now, and and, and please don't judge me, okay? But I did something um, that that in past games you do out of boredom sometimes, especially in like the GTA series. But when I did it here, I actually instantly felt quite wrong, and I was like, I'm not I'm like. You know, like GTA, every now and again you get bored and you go on a murdering spree, yeah. don't you? You start killing people. Well, I was stood there in this, uh, you know, this room full of NPCs, so I got my gun out and started shooting everyone. Ooh. But it was almost, it was all. I think what I didn't like about it was when you do a GTA, the people react comically. You know, it's, it's all, they're all cartoon characters, aren't they? They're all, none of them. It's very sort of satire in real life. You know, so like as you shoot someone, they're like, "Fuck you, dick one." Yeah, yeah. So you kind of like, you, yeah, you kind of laugh about it. It doesn't feel He's real. It's crazy, you look at it. Exactly. Whereas on this, they they reacted kind of in a way that you would expect people. Well, they run. Yeah, and they scream, and they're all filing out the door, and it, and it, and, it, and oh. obviously with what's been going on in the world, oh, it was weird. a little bit too close to home. Do you know what I mean? So I I, I was instantly like, "Oh, mate, I, I'm not doing that again." Well, I know it sounds stupid because why would you do it anyway? No, we'll but, it's a, but it's a video game. Anyway. More hit man for me, but one 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 other thing that did happen, which just for me is the beauty of the Hitman games, or maybe not just Hitman games, but of games of this nature, is so I, I had to kill these two um, targets, like I said, and I'm trying, I'm I'm figuring up this, figuring out this total elaborate scheme of how I'm gonna kill this woman. So I've got some poison, and I'm trying to think right. She's doing this same sort of rotation around the top floor, going to these different rooms. Sort of try and poison her in, in her like bedroom or whatever. So I'm stood in this um, um, room, and um, it's just this random room that I'm in, and I'm there all of a sudden. I'm like, well, how am I going to get to her? Because I know the room she's going in, and the the, the security is there, and the guests are there. Like, you know, it's really hard to to do the poison because people see you, and they obviously alert everybody. And all of a sudden, the door goes. I turn around and the, the woman's in, like it's a bathroom and the woman's just like walked into the bathroom and she just stood there like oh because obviously I'm in a, in a woman's bathroom and she's like oh and she said something I don't know what it was scripted I was like oh so she ran over there and snapped her neck <laughs> and <laughs> chucked her in the cupboard and <laughs> shut the door and I was what? like target done and I was just like right off to the bloke now so it was just like uh, and then the bloke was also awesome. this is why you don't understand why you don't like Hitman because then the bloke I was like right so he stood on the runway, 
given a speech to all his guests by the, like you know like thanking everybody for coming and all that crap and um, I'm stood like up on a balcony right at the top like and um, I'm going I'm walking along and I see that um, I can get onto the lighting rig so I grab walk onto the lighting rig and I walk along so I'm, I'm stood like above the the runway and uh, and I see this lever and it says pull lever to release the lights or whatever so I like pull the lever and then all the lights go like, like basically unfortunately I, there was a lot of collateral damage with this one but it wasn't quite as mentally jarring as the the, the, the you if you, so yeah but it was like but that's just part of the game that's not me being weird so uh, and uh, it, it's like a set piece you see it will come down and it was cool I like that I like that but I could have done it a different way I could have snipered him I could have um, just like I said just run in and shot everybody and ran away do you know what I mean but it's good because it's things like and then when you go through certain rooms it goes like oh the camera's seen you and it's like it's not a fail state it's like right then what I need to do is I need to find out where the security room is get in there and then I have to try and like take the tapes out and stuff like that mm, so I, cool. it's stuff like that I think is cool and yeah, I, like, that's cool and like it's you play this game of changing like costumes like you go right I need to get out that back so you you, you knock out a waiter take his costume make you out the back and then you're like I need to go up the stairs and it's like oh only the security can go up here so you get a security guy and then like you get upstairs and then you're on the next floor and it's like only the special security like the black suit guys with machine guns like right so you have to go get on the do you know what I mean so you're constantly trying to find out who it is you need to be but there are other ways like there is like you. there's one guest that I randomly knocked out because she saw me with my gun and then like when you could like check her body I found out that she had a um an invitation to go upstairs so I was like oh for you so I didn't use it because I'd already done it but I was like oh obviously I could have done that do you know what I mean so there are different ways of doing it so yeah Hitman's good and uh, you know I I don't think he got the buzz why do I like it I don't know mate you probably had a bad experience with it but I, I definitely think it's the best Hitman for years probably since Blood Money you know which was years ago obviously oh, Blood Money's good mm. oh, well, so um, yeah that's it that's pretty much what I've been mm. playing so um Apart from that, I want to. I've given up on prey. Um, I'm going to get something else, um, which I've got now, which I'm going to talk about. Um, and I'm still haven't actually. So uh, the uh, video stopped recording there. So, uh, but we were wrapping up anyway. So uh, wrapping our shit right up. That's the end of the uh, stage one. And uh, so thanks for watching and coming back with us. We will be releasing the main quest in the next couple of days. And podcast listeners, this is the main quest. Now. Okay. Nice and made, don't worry. Right, we'll do the um, thingy bit now. What's this about? What we're looking for?